the tomb of Osiris unearthed and doorways that cannot be opened. tomb of Osiris being unearthed in Egypt. A team of Spanish and Italian Egyptologists has unearthed a tomb complex on the west bank of the Nile, opposite of the modern city of Luxor. And it features a chapel with the statue of the god Osiris. And they believe that the unusual architecture of this tomb shows that Osirin complex in Ibydos. It was molded on the mythical tomb of Osiris and intended to celebrate that god's mysteries. Below the Osiris statue, the team found the tomb's burial chamber and a nearby room was decorated depicting demons, deities, holding knives, and meant to stand guard over the body of this tomb's occupant. This wooden sarcophagus is covered with plaster and decorated with images of Toth, Anubis, Osiris, Isis, and the four sons of Horus. The female mummy is wrapped in linen and its face covered with a mask, wearing a necklace and a wig decorated with a flower crown. Hieroglyphic text on the sarcophagus provides more information of the identity of this deceased or priestess in the temple of Amun. Ancient wooden sarcophagus, known as the Green Coffin, has been returned to Egypt in the United States after U.S. authorities determined it was looted years ago. This sarcophagus is nine and a half feet tall, actually discovered by archaeologists. Philip Vyrie in 1887, but the Osiris rooms weren't found until 2015. Osiris was the mythical ancient Egyptian god of both fertility and death, associated with agriculture, the dead, afterlife, resurrection, life, and vegetation. Also, the ruler of the underworld, the supernatural world of the dead, brother Isis, Nepthys and Seth, and father of Horus. Osiris is depicted as a green-skinned man with a pharaoh's beard, mummy-wrapped legs and a crown. Egyptian myth says he was killed by Seth, who tore his corpse into 14 pieces and flung them over Egypt. The pieces were found by Isis and Nepthys buried over the country. The theory that his phallus was not buried and gave him new life. So he never actually died and remained ruler of the underworld. Osiris' tomb being opened has sparked panic and many are in agreement that we should not mess with the god of the underworld, the Egyptian god of death, and decided to take it out. Do you think these release curses and now, doorways that cannot be opened. The Padmahambi Wasami Temple, I have no idea how to say that, is a spot for supernatural activities in India, built in the sixth century AD. And since then, it has been reformed by the royal family. The descendants of a saint in mystical power of seven men decided to excavate under the temple in 2011 to look for a secret treasure believed to be there. And there they discovered six huge vaults protected by strong doors made out of iron. But this door has remained unopened. As hard as they tried, nothing was moving. Everyone involved in this expedition realized that they should have never opened these doors. The leader of the group died prematurely and another lost his mother soon after. 
and said that these men were cursed. The legend has it that the last door could not be opened because it was sealed by sages using Naga Pasam mantras, aka serpent noose. That means no amount of power tools will ever open this door. Emperor Chin's secret room, an underground discovery in 1974, five brothers guarding the actual tomb were 7,000 terracotta warriors to protect their master for all eternity. The gates of the chamber traps were made that would fire arrows into anyone who dared to enter. And with such a display of aggression, would you still go inside? The five brothers did, but they soon regretted it. They started feeling some discomfort at the site. And after excavation, they all sooner rather than later suffered an untimely death. In the terracotta warrior's chamber, there is a simulation of two rivers of China, but it's believed that what ran through them was not water, but liquid mercury, which would have killed anyone who stepped foot in there. If not kill, at least drive them mad forever. The doors of this tomb, where the emperor's remains have never been opened. The historic records say it's the richest tomb of all time and say inside there are palaces filled with treasures. Chen was the first emperor of China. He ascended the throne at only age 13. He immediately started building his mysterious tomb and it took 38 years. There have been many disputes over the years about the true origin of the Taj Mahal. Some believe the official story that was made in 1832 by Mukha Emperor Shah Jahan in the memory of his beloved wife Mamataz Maha. But some people believe that this structure used to be a place of worship for Lord Shiva. There also are others who think it was built as a mosque. All these different hypotheses to prove or disprove because only a very small portion is even open to the public. There is, however, a very mysterious door that leads to the basement of the mountain tomb which has been sealed for a very long time. It's been raised a lot of concerns because the paranormal activity, they say, that the door leads to the actual tomb and what the public can visit is just a copy. If that's the case, why go through so much trouble to replicate an entire tomb? What could possibly be down there? Many people have petitioned to open it, to open that door but it's always been denied. What's behind there? Treasure under Machi Picchu, Terry Jamon, a well-known French archeologist has recently discovered a door that was never seen before at the Machu Picchu site. Thanks to the electromagnetic equipment, Jamon revealed that the door leads to a hidden chamber behind the walls and possibly be a tomb the Peruvian government is doing everything possible to keep Jamon from opening that door. The door seems to have been sealed by the Incas themselves, and they appear to have never been opened. The government agreed to let Jamon use his equipment to see what's inside the chamber without having to open it. And he discovered a staircase with two entrances, a main room filled with big quantities of unknown metals and he also discovered that the stones sealing the door only serve as a lock and taking them away would not cause the ruins above it to crumble. But nevertheless, the permission to excavate was once again denied. They have sealed the area around the door so that it is impossible now to even get close to it. So what are they protecting or what are they protecting us from? There are a lot of hollowed out mountains that many drive by and have no idea what's inside them. For example, inside one of these hollow mountains has a nuclear waste facility. And the project on the Ancolo nuclear waste facility consists of finding a way to permanently store nuclear waste. The Sphinx Hall of Records legend 
has it that the underneath the Great Sphinx of Giza lays a colossal library that holds ancient texts written by refugees from the lost city of Atlantis. It was a clairvoyant that saw it in a vision back in the 40s that Atlantis is a mythical city that supposedly existed. And if you know me and my channel here, I always say, are we Atlantis trapped in the matrix? So is it mythical? I don't know. If you look at the maps, the land masses and the oceans, I think it tells you a lot. The clairvoyant that saw this vision in the 40s with Atlantis existing in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, trying to figure out any proof of its existence. The giant lion with a human head has also always been a mystery. Very little is known of who built it and what it means or how it relates to the nearby pyramids. The world's leading expert in Egyptology spent many years mapping out every square inch of that statue and every cave underneath it, looking for the library called the Hall of Records. Ironically, in one of the digs nearby, the Sphinx, the Forgotten City, turned out to be the accommodations for the people who were working on building the giant statue. And no signs were ever found of either the Hall having records or the city of Atlantis, although lots of people still spend their entire lives trying to find them. Now there's these Fabergé eggs in the Preston Bank vaults. They're extremely rare and priceless. They belonged to the Russian royal family. Over 52 were ever made, and officially only 46 survived the revolution. But most of the eggs are now in museums around the world. England owns three, but rumor has it that some are being kept in a secret place. And one egg is believed to be sitting in a bank vault in Preston, UK. What are your thoughts? What is inside these eggs? What's behind those doors that we cannot go into or get through? What are they protecting? What about Osiris? Is it a myth or did they find it? Are they unearthing ancient technology? So much more to explore. And I'm so glad that you are here. Thanks for watching till the very end of this video. Huge thank you to my subscribers, my members, and for being here and keeping me encouraged to continue to do this channel and try to have the courage to do better every time. Humongous hugs, high fives, and good vibes, always. Trinity, red or blue pill, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here.